بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So now we're moving on to the seventh chapter regarding wasl and fasl. And as I said, if you haven't done this before, go back to the uh, previous series and watch it in there so you get a good understanding of what this is about before we go into more detail in here. So it says that well, wasl. So we have wasl and fasl. Okay. What is wasl? What is fasl? It's saying here al wasl adfu jumla ala ukhar ala ukhra is to do at of one jumla another. So if we have, for example. Zaydun, oh yeah, let's change it. Zay, Zaynabu, Muallimatun, wa ukhtuha, wa ukhtuha, Mumarridatun, and her sister is a nurse, for example. So this is what? Wasl or Fasl? This is Wasl because we have what? Harf Asf in between. Wal Faslu Tarkuhu. And Fasl is means what? You leave the Atf. There's no Atf between the two sentences. And here, there's more a lot more detail, but here in brief, remember that when we say adfu jumla la jumla, it means what? In a jumla mustanifa. If you have a jumla mustanifa, you have a sentence, it's finished in terms of Arab, then you have another sentence after it. It regards these two sentences. If, if, they, if they both become ma'atuf ali ma'atuf join, they become part of a bigger sentence, then we're not discussing that. We're discussing the jumla mustanifa. When you have a sentence, it's complete, and now you want to move on to another sentence. Do we move on by adding wow or do you move on without adding wow? So you can add in here for example, adfu jumlatin. This is basically iste na fiyat iste na fiyatin ala ukhra. So you have jumlatin musta'nifa and you join another jumlatin musta'nifa. Okay? So sometimes you add in wow, sometimes you leave the wow out. When you bring wow, it's called wow is for wasl. Wow wasl. And no wow is what? Fasl. Okay, and he says here, well, ha huna qasinu ala al-adfi bil wow. We're only going to talk about wow. He gives one reason, I don't really agree with it. He says, لِأَنَّ الْأَدْفَ بِغَيْرِهَا لَا تَقَوْ فِيهِ اشْتِبَا Because when you do adf without wow, you use thumma, thumma, fa, hatta. There's no ishtiba and no confusion in this. More or less, because when you have those other ones, you, don't, you can't have fasl with fa. You can't have fasl with thumma. You don't assume those with mahzuf. Or not there. It only happens this because it's mainly focused on wow. Okay? Walikullim min al wasli biha wal fasli. And joining ha refers to wow. And joining a sentence together, or joining two sentences together via wow, or leaving it alone. For each of these, for each of wasl and fasl, there are mawadi, certain scenarios, certain situations. And we discuss this in the next lesson, inshallah. But what I want to do is give you a brief overview of what's happening. Okay? Now, just understand this concept. Have you, do you know about adoption, fostering? Yeah, what happens? Somebody, I don't know about in America, but here, uh, UK, what happens? That a person is taken into care either because the mother's parents are sick and well, there's no other person because of, of security concerns, health concerns. And what do they do? They look for a foster carer. And when they look for foster care, they look for what? Match. Meaning, it can't be perfect match, but compatibility. Okay? Now keep that in mind. Let's look at the scenario. You have a father and his own son. Can you adopt his own son? Why not? So, you're stuck with him. I don't know if that's related to your father or to your son, but I'll, okay. So you're stuck with him according to your, your opinion. But anyways, you got a father and son, meaning you're already closely linked. There's no need for adoption. By bring adop adoption is what to establish a link, a, a, a legal link between the two of them. Because there's already a legal link, there's no need to establish it. It's already there. Okay. Acha. You got a woman. You got another 15 year old girl. It's not her daughter. I'm mean, using American terminologies here. The woman is pro-choice. What does pro-choice mean in America? Abortion. Can you abort? And the daughter, the girl is what? Pro-life. She says no. Pro-life meaning you can't, you can't adopt. Life of the child is more important. The woman says you have gun control. And the daughter says no. Anti-gun control. They're both very active. She's pro-healthcare. And the daughter is anti-healthcare. You know what our healthcare says in America. They have all these kind of differences. Religion. Uh, uh, culture. Food wise, religion wise, huh? Yeah, yeah, and all the kind of lifestyle. One lives in like a you know, hillbilly living in the middle of the like uh, middle of the country, which is like in a farm or something, one house and so on. Other grew up in the city. No compatibility, so you're too different. You can't let you adopt because you're just gonna be tortured for fifteen years. If it's a one year old girl, you can probably mold her in. She's already fifteen years, you've got her opinions you from a city girl who lives in a city who's grew up there, now you want to come to live in the middle of nowhere, or one, two, a whole city of two houses or three houses, and she has all different opinions to you, it's going to be chaos in the house. So you're too different. 
to, to be adoption. Adoption will not usually say this is, this is not compatibility here. So give us the example. Now what happens here? Look at this. This is what you call ittisal. What is it? They're already muta saying it. And it's kamal. You're already so linked. There's no need for adoption. And here's what? Kamalul inqita. You're too different. You can't let you adopt because you're going to cause havoc. Okay? So think of this. If two sentences are already so closely linked, there's no need for adoption. There's no need for? Wow. And if they're so far away, there's also no need for? If you can't, not, not need for it, is you can't have it, this will not fit. So you use this concept. If they're too close or too far, then while we should link it together, there's no need for a while. They're already linked by biology. There's no need for a while. And it's so far away, but wow, it just will be like, you know, it's going to cause chaos. You got the concept, the, the example I'm trying to give? So looking at this, let's go back here. If we have two jumnatun musta'nifa, and they have munasabatun ta'amma, meaning they match, like they, they go in hand in hand, they're not so close, not so far, but they go hand in hand, because munasabatun ta'amma, and I explain that in more detail as we go along. Then what do you do here? Green means what? You'll have, you'll have wow, to, do, to join together. Okay? If they're so closely linked, then what's going to happen? No need for a while. If they're on the other extreme, they're so far apart, then you can't have a while. It wouldn't make sense. Because they're too far apart to bring together. Because in us, it has to join two things together. And you can't join together, they're too far apart. And I explain in detail, I'm just give you a brief overview. So you have on one side, Kamal Ittisal is so strongly linked, that there's no need for a while. No need for adoption, it's already part of it. Or they're so far away that it's just not going to fit. And then you have in between. Now these in light red, they're there, but they're very rarely used. That's what I've put, I've put in light red. You're not going to come it too often. You find one or two poems that they find an example for, and that's it. Okay, so that will also not have, because it's between. If it's, it's not completely linked, but it's very closely linked. Okay? You get it? So you call it Shibhu Kamal Tasal. It's almost like Kamal, it's like Kamal Ittisal. Again, it's here, so you will not have. Uh, you have kama, Shibu Kamal Inkita. It's not ka, Kamal Inkita, but it's like kind of Inkita. So what do you do now? In none of these you will have what? These are all what? Fasan. None of these you have what? If it's completely linked or totally separate. Or even if it's in between or whatever these two, these rare ones are and this one. None of them will have what? None of them will have a wow. They'll all be fa. And then there's one here, like Kamal Inkita. But in one scenario where the kamal in qita, what do you still do? You still bring what? You still bring a wow because if you don't bring a wow, it will cause confusion. Does that make sense? Are you following? Okay, so in some of these, if they close, if they, if it's munasul tamma, that's when you bring wow. And in these other scenarios, you don't bring wow. If they're already closely linked or they're too far apart, you don't bring wow. And anything in between. I'm going to explain this in detail. In the next lesson, inshallah. Is that one, the Kamal in Qita? Yeah. Is that uh, the wow which is the beginning of Jumla? No. No. We'll discuss inshallah as we go along. Okay? Do you understand? Any questions? Yeah? Okay? And we'll discuss one by one inshallah as we go along. We'll discuss these two first. We'll discuss the wasl, these two scenarios first, then we go on to these in the second section. The other five. Okay? And in the other five, these three are the most common. That's why we discussed these three in the okay. first book. And we didn't discuss these two because it's rare. So it there's no need for it. But because we're doing a more intermediate level uh, book now, we need to go through these details. Understood? Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, kamdi, shalala, illa illa, 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 ill